Tia Grasha reads. First Snow in the Woods by Carl R. Sams II and Jean Stoyek. The northern lights faded bright to dim, like a distant torch flickering across the cold night sky. The owl had seen all this before, but something was different. Something told him tonight he must begin a long journey south. In a morning meadow far away, fog tiptoed in without a sound. Dew sparkled on fragile webs where a family of deer grazed. A soft breeze crossed the meadow and whispered, Do you know what's happening? The spider spun her web and tidied up a fly into another tasty bundle. In the same meadow, a woolly bear inched his way along a fern, then onto another. Chew, chew, chewing, doing what woolly bears do. A dragonfly waited patiently for his wings to dry. He had hatched during the midsummer green long, long ago in dragonfly time. When will the new season begin? When dragonflies no longer fly. A noisy chipmunk broke the silence of the meadow. Hey, Spotty, you don't look so good, he called out, munching a tiny red crab apple. You're losing your spots. And your coat is looking scruffy. Better start hiding your acorns, he warned. Why would I want to hide acorns? Wondered the fawn. Acorns are everywhere. As the summer faded, the sweet nectar plants no longer flowered. Soon, the monarch would follow a distant memory. On fragile wings, his heart song would lead him to a tropical garden thousands of miles away. The hummingbird heard the same green song playing in his head. A gentle memory of a faraway place. The tiny traveler would leave the meadow that morning it was a time of change. Dewy webs hung on goldenrod and covered the morning fields. So many woodland birds had left for distant places, taking their songs with them. At the edge of the woods, a small squirrel chattered. Have you heard? asked the red squirrel. The great gray owl is on his way from the far north. He only stays here during the harshest winters. The wind ruffled her fur as she snatched up a double acorn to tack away. The first snow is coming. It's coming early. A woodchuck squeezed out of his hole, blinking his eyes. I'm only going to say this one time, announced the old grump. Hibernate! 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 The sun melted the frost from the meadow, pushing away the fog and warming the shadows. Are you listening? asked Mother Doe, standing quietly. It's happening. The frost had silenced the wings of the dragonflies. The new season is here, she pleaded softly. Leaf by leaf, 
the green world gave way to blazing reds and golds. The painted turtle climbed onto a rock, warming himself in the fading rays of the sun. Soon I will bury myself into the thick mud and sleep until spring. It's what turtles do. A red maple leaf held stubbornly, twisting and turning on its stem. Let it happen, nodded the breeze. And so it did, breaking away soundlessly, floating down, twisting and turning. The fawn was paying attention. Why are the leaves falling? Why is my coat changing? Where have so many of the birds gone? Asked the fawn. All things change. Mother Doe spoke in a gentle voice. All creatures must prepare and be ready to follow their heart song. The fawn didn't feel ready. Did he even have a heart song? Yet, as the evening slowly darkened the wounds, he felt safe with his mother at his side. Each night stole morning light from the day and held back the morning sun. Honking geese flew across the sky, announcing the changing season. The raccoon poked his head out of a snug hole in a tree to listen to morning sounds and sniff the cool air. He'd hunted frogs and crayfish in the moonlight along the muddy pond. At daybreak, he overturned rotted bark, finding plump grubs and runaway beetles. His heart song played softly in his head. Can you feel it? It's coming. Good morning, good morning, said the two mice, peeking out from under the leaves. Today's the day, today's the day, they both agreed. Today's the day, questioned the fawn with frosted breath. I, I don't understand. It's true, it's true, I've heard it too. The great gray owl is on his way, down from the far north, called out the chickadee dee dee. Are you ready dee dee? Ready? Ready for what? Questioned the fawn, as the mother doe just kept munching her acorns. The snowshoe hare balanced a white paw on a small tree as she chewed its tender needles. Soon, her fur would be totally white. In winter, white is good. Suddenly, a dark shadow soared above the rabbit's head. The great gray owl landed with ruffled feathers on the top of a swaying spruce. He had ridden the north winds many miles with a storm on his tail. Creature of the forest, prepare! The first winter storm is here! But I'm not ready, said the fawn, standing alone. The snowflakes floated downward, covering the meadow. What is happening? Why can't everything stay the same? The wind turned colder 
and the snow fell harder. The fawn shook the wet snow from his ears. I don't like this. The robin agreed. He wished he had left earlier, leaving his sweet berries behind. Hey, where is your home? called out a frantic chipmunk. Do you know you need a hole? Here, I'll help dig. I'll make it big. A hole in the ground? wondered the fawn. He shook his head. But where is my home? Where should I go? I'm not ready. You are ready. Mother Doe spoke softly as she appeared out of the storm. You are ready for the first snow of the season. Come, follow me. We will travel with the rest of our family to the Cedar Swamp. There we'll find food and shelter and escape the winter winds. The owl watched from above as the small family of deer made their way down down, down to the low ground where the cedar trees grow thick. Whistling winds and white snow swirled and whirled all through the night, and then silence. The fawn woke up with deep snow all around him. The whiteness made him blink. Nicely done. You are prepared. You're almost as plump as me, said the fox squirrel. And that thick winter coat will keep you warm and dry. As the fawn looked about, he heard the familiar calls of the winter birds chickadees, cardinals, and blue jays. A calm came over him as he listened to the snow falling softly. Now he knew he was ready. He had found his winter home. He had heard his heart song. The end. Thank you for watching, please watch more.